Iggy! Nice mullet. Boom! One hour before the last shift started. Only Bernie puts in full eight hours. So Bernie puts in the full eight hours. So if it's... Uh, let's see. Last shift. I get the shorter shift. Three hours. I worked from six till I was relieved. So six. One hour before the last shift started. Shorter shift, three hours. Only Bernie puts in the full eight hours. Oh no! Where does the where does the shift start? Um. Here we go. The rest easy guard was uh, employed from midnight to midnight yesterday. So it started at midnight. All right. So. He was relieved at, let's see, so midnight, so that's two go around. So, starting at midnight, um, let's see here, you worked until six till I was relieved, so let's see, only Bernie puts in the full eight hours. So you worked until six. So that's the start of the first one. And one uh, Bernie would be the last one because one hour before the last shift started. So three hours. So uh jeez, let me see. Um Boy, this is this is toughy. Jeez. Um, let me figure this out. So, hold on. Hint. Yeah, sure. Why not? Need a stronger hint. Iggy started at six. Okay, I got that. But did he start at six a.m. or six p.m.? Only one of these is possible given the condition. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, so. I'll say he started at midnight. I'm gonna say he started first. So. The second one, Al puts in like not eight hours, so probably six hours. So if we assume that Pop worked the next three hours, so that'd be here, so three hours. And Bernie heard the explosion before the last shift, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so he was the one who heard that, so. Let's see. One hour before the last shift started. So one. Okay, let's let's go with Iggy first. So Iggy down here. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Bernie. But he heard that. So screw it. This is this is ridiculous. Um. So. If it's the last shift started, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So if the last. Let's just go here because if the it's an hour before the last shift started, and actually it'd probably be five then. Okay, let's submit. Oh, jeez, this is... This is becoming, um... Uh, uh, I'll come back to this one. It's a tough nut. It really is. Uh. Sheriff Bog? What can I do you for, Agent Chathers? Agent Chathers? What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. Hmm. What did your investigation turn up? Not much can't figure out how to get past this lock. 
Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? <laughs> that's right, sir. Probably not making that many big bucks over in your line of work. Okay. Well, that is a toughie. Investigate the lock. Yeah, we don't have any of those things. So let's find out what else we can do in this place. I'm not great with the uh, number puzzles. Hmm. Okay, I guess back to Vault is in. Okay. Oh, shit, look at that. Screwdriver. I'll take that. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. I'll take it anyway. Someone left a... Looks clean. Hmm. Newspaper. Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. Okay. Uh, the Annabelle Grills Lady Arm Wrestling Tournament is over, and the judge missed it. Read the four statements and help him determine the winner. Yep, baby. Ooh! Never mind. Hi. Hi. I pin pearl like a new hat. Flow's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. I outmatched by the grizzly grip one fair and square. Pat one fair and square. Okay. Who are you? So, outmatched by the grizzly grip. So, neither one of these is the grizzly grip. I print pearl like a new hat. That'll be grizzly's grip right here. Um, so... I'm going to just guess with this, because she, she obviously didn't get it. Pin pearl like a new hat. Pat one fair and square. That's not pat, obviously. And... Shit. Yay! All right. Obviously, some of these are a lot harder than others. That was a tricky one. Not really. Ugh! Blah. Gross. Okay. Let's see. Where... Uh... Wait, how do I get to my room? No, how do I get to my room? Tell me how I get to my room! All right, time to turn in. Oh, she's so cute. Goodbye. Okay. All right, I guess we're not going to sleep just yet. So let's find out exactly where we're going. Hmm. Scroggins Farm. Moose Ear Diner. Ugh, ew! Ooh, oh, cool! I just figured this out. This is like a. Ooh. This is like a, um. Uh. Radar. Like a sonar thing. Alright. Sheriff Bob? Let's get through when there. Did the accident well, here. Okay, let's just solve this. And if I have. Hint? Yeah. Big noise happened an hour before Pop's third hour shift began. Okay, so... An hour before Pop's third hour... I'm done. So if he's got the uh, third hour shift, and he, Bernie here had to be part of that, then I'm just going to guess it will be... Let's see, one, two, three, four, eight. So... How are you supposed to figure that out? Ugh, finally. There was absolutely nothing in those phrases, gross. Oh no, you only get three of those. Let's see, here we go. Bernie worked eight hours 
out of the... Oh, okay, here is the solution. Bernie worked eight hours out of the 24-hour day, and Pop worked three. Al worked six hours, and Iggy worked seven. That was never implied. Iggy had to put a six... Uh, Iggy had to start in at 6 a.m., which is what I thought. Oh, no, wait a minute. Because he was relieved by another guard. Al came first and worked the six-hour shift when Iggy started to... This is too complicated. Those statements were not giving me enough information. Fine. I feel better about having using all those hints. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Good point. Maybe they grew back. What? No! Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. We'll meet you at the Moose Ear in a bit. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or just Minnesotian. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hold on, is there a way... Oh, wow, look at that, you can actually go over here and look... Ooh, look at... Wow! Okay, hold on, wow, wow, okay. Ooh! <laughs> Wrangling Watchman. Okay. No, no, main menu. No, oh god! Uh, quit. Okay. Okay, there I was wondering why there was all these files here. Uh, let's see, journal, uh, Minnesota. Eh, boy. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at where else we can go here. I'm I'm actually really enjoying this game. I do like puzzle games, and this one has a lot of charm to it. I mean, the the art style is a little different than what you might expect, but it's got its own charm. Ooh, what I was just saying about the art style, I take it back. Look at that. I actually kind of like the whole scribble sort of, like, look to it. 